Howdy y'all and welcome back to the layout. Today we'll be taking a look at Atherin's GP39-2 in the Prime for Grime BNSF paint scheme. Before we get to the review, I'd like to explore the history of the locomotive first. The EMD GP39-2 is a four-axle diesel locomotive built by General Motors Electromotive Division between 1974 and 1984. 239 examples of this locomotive were built for American railroads. Part of the EMD-2 line, the GP39-2 was an upgraded GP39. The power for this locomotive was provided by a turbocharged 12-cylinder EMD 645E3 diesel engine, which could produce 2300 horsepower. Unlike the original GP39, which sold only 23 examples as railroads preferred the reliable unturbocharged GP38, the GP39-2 was reasonably successful, ascribed to its better fuel economy relative to the GP38-2, which became of more interest in 1970s energy crisis and to its better performance at altitude. Now let's go take a look at the model. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get to unboxing this thing. Um, we of course have the standard stuff from Atherin, the uh, Atherin newsletter, um, the uh, limited one year one warranty information, uh, exploded parts diagram, and looks like a parts list as well. Exploded parts diagram, and of course, the standard operation manual with all of the necessary information regarding lubrication, uh, sound function, etc., etc., all the stuff. <clears throat> and of course, we have the locomotive itself. Uh, we've of course got the um, standard plastic. Um, covering there and then the usual soft plastic wrapping let's get this stuff out of the way and take a better closer look all right so this is the primed for grime bnsf 2866 um Ow, I have just stabbed myself with my pointer. Guess uh, we got something for the bloopers reel. Uh, Alright, but getting into it, here at the front, uh, we of course have snowplow, coupler, um, air hoses and MU hoses and, and whatnot, ditch lights, as this is the BNSF variant, though this thing I don't believe would have come with ditch lights from the factory. Um, we of course have the uh, AC unit and antenna up here um, in green. Uh, BNSF patched on the side here, 2866, nice and legible. Um, it's just a minor thing. This window is just a little loose. Huh. This is the first time I've actually run into an issue like that. So watch out for that. That is definitely a loose window. Nothing a little bit of um, persuasion can't fix, but uh, this window is a little loose, but that can happen in shipping sometimes. I'm sure that's not a big issue. Uh, as you can probably tell, moving along the side, we do have um, um, we do have uh, positionable windows though, as you can see. Um, nice detail on the uh, the trucks. I'm trying to get it to, there we go, so you can see it a little bit better. Um, Moving along, we have more uh, detail here, exhaust vent up top, um, stanchions are pretty sturdy, um, fuel tank, um, dynamic brake fan, etc. Uh, I will mention, uh, be careful with picking this th thing up around the dynamic brake fan, that is a 
uh, access hatch to the interior and can quite easily come um, come off if you're not careful. Uh, I found that as I was picking it out of the box and getting it ready, uh, it uh, it decided to just come off. So be uh, be careful with that. Uh, moving, of course, farther along the back here, we have more truck detail in the back, uh, radiator fans, etc. Moving farther back, if it'll stay in focus, legible writing on all of the stuff, more emu hoses, coupler, uh, ah, bah, 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 bah. coupler, uh, well, that's also interesting. Uh, there appears to be a lens missing off of this headlight. That is, that is interesting. I'm noticing a couple of issues with this thing more than I am used to seeing. Uh, we do of course have all the stanchions and all that such, coupler cut lever uh, here, etc. Along this way, this side, we of course have the horn up top. Uh, more of the same detail. Bell just down there. Uh, what is this? It is a crank style brake, um, handbrake. Uh, Alright, so that is the majority of the details. I think I might have me forgot to mention the uh, headlight, of course. Um, number boards and etc. Um, but that is the majority of the details. Let's go ahead and grab our um, weight and coupler height and all of that. Alright, there we have the coupler height. It looks like that is pretty spot on on the front. And on the back here... Uh, it looks a little bit on the high side, but it should be more or less acceptable. Alright guys, unfortunately the uh, batteries on my on my scale have unfortunately corroded. I'm going to need to deal with that now, but um, that is something I will deal with uh, later. For the sake of going ahead and getting this review done, let's go ahead and take this onto the layout and check out the sounds. All right, I'll go ahead and apply track power. startup. Okay, taking a look at the functions, we of course have the headlight, F0. Uh, you guys should be able to just about tell. And we have the bell, F1. F2 is the horn. is quite responsive. F3 is the short horn. Um, F4 is the dynamic brakes or straight to idle. Um, which, this should have dynamic brakes, so it should be dynamic brakes. I'm assuming it's got to be moving for that. Uh, let's see, F5 is lighting effect 1. Which activates the dish lights. F6 is lighting effect 2. I 
do not believe Lighting Effect 2 does anything on this particular locomotive. But I could be wrong. Nothing that I have seen. Uh, F7 is dimmer slash cab chatter. It's pretty hard to hear, but you can hear a little bit of cab chatter. F8 is, of course, mute. Let's skip over that one. F9 is alternate mixer, which is half volume, which is considerably easier to talk over. But so you can hear the sounds better, I will uh, keep it up to full. F9, F10 is straight to 8 and sander. F11 is brake set and release. And F12 is brake select. So that should be enabling right now the air brakes with it set on and F12 set off. Should be, um, F12 set off should be, um, uh, locomotive brakes. And it'll, of course, I guess, charge up the airlines for a bit, and then I'm assuming it will go back to idle. down a little bit. A couple of other notable mentions, though I am not going to show you uh, immediately. You, of course, have uh, F13 is a couple uncouple, F14 is half speed and momentum override, uh, F15 is handbrake, F16 is hep mode, 17 is fuel loading sequence, F18 is general service sequence, 19 is straight to idle, um, and there are several other additional um, features as well. Um, but I think that just about covers the vast majority of features that will be used uh, ordinarily. Um, let's go ahead and have a bit of a test of the locomotive's capabilities uh, as far as running. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and mute it uh, so that we can hear, uh, listen for motor noise and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and pop it in reverse. And here we go. That's speed step one. I am not seeing any lurching or anything like that does seem to be very smooth. There's two. Uh, that's a rough spot in the track. I need to do a little bit of maintenance. Three. Four. And it's getting pretty far away, but five. 
And I'm not hearing any motor noise, which is good. Go ahead and bring it back. Speed step one. Again, very little lurching. Pretty good slow speed control. Speed step two. Three. Four. And five. Stay in focus. And there you go. It is quite smooth, if I do say so myself. The only little hiccup we had was uh, an issue with I should probably clean my track a little bit more often. Or just run things more often. Um, could also do quite nicely. But yeah, there you guys have it. Um, that is the motor control and sound functions. And now we're going to go ahead and move on. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the review of Athens GP39-2. I'm not entirely satisfied with the window issue, but with a little persuasion it was solvable. It may be a manufacturer defect, but I do try not to blame the manufacturer too hard when it comes to this stuff. It was likely shaken free during ship. At any rate, I hope you all enjoyed the review, and stay tuned for more as I'm super excited for, to weather this engine soon. We'll see y'all in the next one. Later, everyone.